we have here the envelope that contains 15 names who have the top scores in the competition as tabulated by our official auditor Reyes, Takandong and company and I will announce their names in no particular order. Who do you guys think made it to the top 24? Come on, we want to hear you guys. Let's start off with candidate number... Candidate number 14, Gwen Corneor. Do not worry because you've also made it a candidate number. One, Leah Makapagad. is your night. Candidate number. Candidate number 12. Natasha Chuck. You are also part. Candidate number. more to go. Next spot goes to candidate number. We want to hear you guys. Candidate number. Candidate number 26, Johan Flores. the top 20 
for candidate number 23, Shannon Manzano. Let's give it up for candidate number. We want to hear you guys. Candidate number. Candidate number 30. Julie. Definitely not the least. Come on down. Candidate number. Our last name on the list. It's a bit hard to read. Who do you guys think? Give it up for candidate number four. Janelle Lewis. to complete the top 24. Yes, kulang pa yan. Pero malalaman natin yan, Alyssa. The final member of the top 24 will be known when Miss World Philippines 2021 returns. Philippines organization, Mr. Arnold Vega Fria. Aside from our many sponsors and of course our board of judges, I would like to personally commend the efforts of our friends from the Subic Bay Exhibition and Convention Center for ensuring the success of tonight's event, particularly the chairperson and administrator of the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, the hardworking attorney Wilma T. Aisman. I would also like to personally thank our colleagues from the IATF for their professionalism and for ensuring that all health and safety protocols will be followed through the entire duration of this coronation night. <laughs> it feels good to finally be back in the, line, in the limelight after having been sidelined last year. Since we kicked off the MWB competition last May, I'm sure all of you remember how well the girls perform through all the preliminaries from the press presentation up to the here I am happy to announce that we are still going headstrong in pushing for our mental health advocacy <laughs> the issue of mental health has gotten its share of limelight lately 
especially along, especially among millennials. In most my past interviews with this recent batch of the Miss World Philippines aspirants, I was greatly alarmed to find out how some of them admitted to have mental health issues. I am very sure that a lot of parents can relate to me with all the to toxicities that our youth absorb on social media. It's not surprising how most of them end up as a prime target for depression and sometimes even suicide. Because of the gravity of the situation, sometimes parental guidance doesn't seem enough to address this alarming plague. That's why I feel that we should work hand in hand with the concerned agencies in, and collaborate on proper interventions. Aside from the mental health, another advocacy of the Miss World Philippines organization is our scholarship program for the underprivileged youth. We are encouraging our qualified college students to take advantage of the partnership programs with different schools, and this is especially more relevant to reveal this year's winning Beauty with a Purpose Challenge winner. At this point, I'd like to commend our candidates for the great diversity of advocacies that they shared the respective entries. We hope that this proactive initiative is something that will serve as a fine example for our youth. Unfortunately, we can only pick one winner. So let's now find which, of the, which one stood out among the rest. Can I get? Let's watch this, the BWAP video winner. Reaching out, letting people in, are never ending battles when struggling with depression. A lot of times, the beauty with a purpose, candidate number three, Joy Barcoma.